Hi everyone, I'm CBS 11 meteorologist Annalise Parks keeping an eye on Hurricane Irma. The latest update has Irma as a strong Category 2 hurricane. Max sustained winds of 110 miles per hour, still close to uh, Fort Myers, but on that track towards Port Charlotte, still a Category 2 then. As it pushes into Tampa, this is 1 a.m. overnight. Moving down to a category one, still though a strong and dangerous storm, of course, with a storm surge to watch for and dangerous winds. Category one all the way moving up into northern portions of Florida, close to Tallahassee, and then remnants of Irma will spread across the mid south and into even the Ohio River Valley as we get into the middle of next week. So a large area being impacted by this very wide storm. You can see that tight circulation at this time moving right off to the northeast. East of Fort Myers. You're really noticing that orange and red band. That's that eye wall where the most destructive winds would be. So those winds of up to 110 miles per hour certainly would be in this area pushing off to the north. Uh, so Arcadia will be in line of those strong winds as we go on through the next hour. Speaking of winds, gusts right now are still impressive all across the state. Fort Pierce, 87 mile per hour wind gusts. West Palm Beach, 75 mile per hour wind gusts. So even the East Coast, they're seeing the impacts from this. Now the heaviest winds of up to 74 miles per hour will continue to travel from Fort Myers up to Tampa, pushing along the West Coast of Florida. But even notice that you're still seeing some of those winds up to 58 miles per hour across the center of Florida. Those winds starting to slowly die down, but even expecting some tropical force winds to move into portions of Georgia, perhaps even Atlanta. As we get into the day on Monday, remnants of Irma still very strong, and we're watching the storm surge for, for the forecast the remainder of the day. Looks like the worst of it will remain anywhere from Naples up to Fort Myers, up to 10 feet of a storm surge, and then traveling closer to Tampa, a five to eight foot storm surge will be possible. So that's another component that those folks will be watching for. As we travel on through the rest of our forecast here in North Texas, we're going to keep things pretty quiet. Official high today, 87 degrees. We stay a little bit below average, average 90, record high today, 101, and our conditions have been very comfortable. Numbers right now in the mid 80s, 85 for DFW, Dallas 84, Fort Worth at 85 degrees. Dew points in the 50s keep that nice fall feel, certainly at night. Forecast moving on from here, Monday, Tuesday, we'll see a little bit of cloud cover, try to push back closer to North Texas. Partly sunny by the time we get into Wednesday with remnants of Irma close by. It's actually going to keep our temperatures fairly steady, but high pressure back to the west builds in by Wednesday. And later in the week, we're talking about a return to 90 degree temperatures. You can see Wednesday, 93 degrees. Checking out that extended forecast. We'll keep the 80s for Monday, Tuesday. Actually talking about a dry forecast through the week. Warming up Thursday, Friday into the upper 90s.